welcome back. This video has been highly requested of me. How to make a deco mesh angel using all deco mesh and nothing else. And this is what I have. So stay tuned and I will show you how to make it. All right, so let's get started. So first off, what you're going to need is two different colors of mesh. Or you can use all one color, it doesn't matter. But for this, I always see these angels made out of one color and I don't like that. I want two colors, so I'm going to be using two. For mine, I'm going to be using red and white. You're not even going to come close to using a whole roll of this mesh. So this is the Dollar Tree mesh, in case you're wondering. One red, one white. An ornament to use for the head. Some kind of decoration to go in the center of it, and you'll find out why here in a little bit. And I had this poinsettia that was just lying around. And y'all know I love gold and red and white for my Christmas colors. So I'm going to use this little guy here. You need some scissors, hot glue, and some pipe cleaners. And finally, finally, my Walmart has white pipe cleaners, which is what I'm going to use. I have white and red over here. So I think I'm just going to stick with the white fuzzy sticks. I'm really? Really? These are pipe cleaners. Anyway, so what you need to do for each angel is you need to cut some pieces of mesh 12 inches long. You're going to need six red and six white. So let me find my pipe cleaner. No, not my pipe cleaner, my clothespan. That's what I'm looking for, my clothespan. I have some clothespins over here, which is really going to help you hold your mesh. So first off, what you're going to do is unroll your piece of mesh and grab this corner up here and this corner down here and just boink, pull them out and you see how the whole piece has kind of curled in on itself to make one big long piece like this. Now I'm going to just clamp it with my clothespin so that I can move on to my next piece and we'll do the same thing. Hold this corner and this corner and whoop. <laughs> I like doing that. And you're going to do this with all of your pieces of mesh, both colors. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to actually form the little angel. I have all of my pieces of mesh. I have pulled the corners and made these long pieces here. I have six red and six white. Now if you cut your mesh longer, of course that's going to make a bigger angel. If you buy the wider mesh that you can get like a Hobby Lobby, Walmart, whatever, that's just going to make your angel bigger. This is going to make a small angel. So if you want bigger ones, cut them longer. You'll probably have to cut more pieces, you know, to make them full to compensate for the length. Or you can just get wider mesh. So now that I have this, let's get a pipe cleaner. Pipe cleaner. Wee. Okie dokie, I'm going to use a white one for this. Just because I've been wanting to use white ones forever. And I finally got a pack. So now we're going to take our mesh and just hold it all in the center like this. Try to get it even and then take each end and bend them down towards each other like that. Now right around here, not through this way, but around here, this is where you're going to wrap a pipe cleaner and that's going to make the skirt. Now you want to try to wrap this as tightly as you can get it because that's what is going to help the skirt flare out. So I'm just going to tighten the bejesus out of it. And sometimes when my hands don't want to quite work with me, I get a pair of needle nose pliers and just grab it right there where the twisty part is. It just twist it really tightly. And you can see the difference how that just kind of helped it to cinch right up. Okay. Now don't cut your pipe cleaner because we're going to use that to attach the wings. And here in a minute, I'll go back and really, really fluff this skirt out, but I just want to see what it looks like. <laughs> now for the wings, we're going to take them like this and put them all together like this. And then I'm going to put mine on the back here. We're going to bend our pipe cleaner on the back so that one piece is going this way and one piece is going up that way. And then just lay your wings right on top like that and give it a really good twist. Now that just fastened those on like that. Now we're going to put a head on here and I'm going to use a Christmas ornament 
And because this poinsettia here has red and, and gold, of course, I think I'm going to use a gold ornament. I'm just opening these things all willy-nilly. Oh, come out. Woo! There we go. The ball's flying everywhere. I'm going to take the end of it off. And then I'm going to take hot glue, put some here, and then just try to hold that on there just like that. So let's just put a big old blob of glue here. And we're just going to set it down on top of there. I'm going to lay this on the table and hold it with my hand here. And I'm not going to sit here and make y'all watch glue harden up. So I'm going to pause this video again to let this glue set up. I'll reinforce it with a little bit of glue on the back if need be. And then I'll come back and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this poinsettia. Okay, and this is what I have so far. I see a lot of uh, mesh angels where they put the wings up higher. I don't like them like that. I like to do it like this because you see how this looks like the top part of a dress and how the waist is cinched in. And then your skirt flares out like this. Now, I was looking at this poinsettia and I'm like, you know what? It's cute and all, but it's too much red. It just all blends together. And then I have this package of these tiny, tiny little bows. I mean, how cute is that? So you know what? This is what I'm going to use. I'm going to put a little bow on my angel's dress here. I'm just going to put a blob of hot glue right there. And put it right here. There we go. Now for a halo, if you want a halo, that's fine. If you don't, that's fine. And I think my angel wants one. And I think we'll give her a red one to match the dress <laughs> because I like red. And if I put a gold one on here, I just think that's going to clash with this ornament here. So I'm just taking a pipe cleaner. I'm just going to bend it around into a circle. Yeah, that looks about right. And I'm going to twist the end like this. And then let's flatten that down. And then bend it in the back just like this. All right, girly, I got to flip you over. And then I'm just going to hot glue it right here to the back of the ornament. I think right like that. And I'm going to let that sit and I'll come back with my wire cutters and I'll trim off all that excess. I don't want to do that right yet in case I change my mind and take it off and want to place it up higher. So I might can flip this over just so that y'all can see what it looks like now. There we go. And of course, I will work with the halo some more just to get it to sit perfectly on there. But there we go. There's our little Christmas angel. So if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.